Hey guys, this is Chris Fate coming coming back at you. Uh, today I'm going to be discussing how to make a generic trainer using Cheat Engine. Uh, this is after you've got all your cheats, uh, you you got everything that you used. You went through the whole game, you played it to make sure nothing crashed down on you. All your cheats are working, and I'm just going to show you how to use Cheat Engine where you can make a generic, a simple little trainer out of it that you can share with your friends or with anybody. And that's what we're going to do today. And today I'm going to be using Bioshock Infinite. I already have my scripts wrote out. And um, let me go ahead and bring the game up here. Let's take a minute. Okay. I'll pass all this mess. Alright, let's go ahead and load up Cheat Engine. Go ahead and attach it to the game itself. And saving our file in the documents, my cheat tables, it brings up all our scripted cheats that we have. I scripted all these out. And what you want to do first of all is you want to make sure that you, on each one, you want to make sure that you right click and set a hot key for each one of these. These are the keys that the, uh, the person that uh, downloads your trainer, uh, they'll be able to press. Uh, to get it to activate or deactivate, and I just use toggle script, or you know, you can just uh, use whatever comes with it, like toggle script, enable script, wh whichever you like. It doesn't really matter. But let's just assume that you went through every single one of these, and you went ahead and set a hotkeys for all of these. I've already done this. I've set uh, infinite help to one, and all everything down all the way to uh, using number pad seven. So we want to go ahead and create our trainer, but we want to go ahead and get some graphics for it, like uh, you know a Bioshock logo or something. And uh, what I do is I just go to uh, Google and I just type in the the name of the game, Infinite, and just uh, click OK and just go to Images. Just click on Images and just get one that you like. And uh, this is what you can use in your trainer. I like that one pretty good. And let's uh, view image. And you can just go ahead and right click it and save picture as. Uh, that's a JPEG. I just save it to my desktop. And that's what, that's what we're going to use. Now also, not only do you want to use this, you also want to make an icon out of it. Now some of you, I'm sure, know how to make icons. But there's also a site that you can go to uh, to make an icon, and that's what we're going to do. Is I'm going to go to that site, and I'll put the link for that in the description as well. So let me uh, bring up my favorites here. I got just a ton of crap in here. I need to clean this out. Got too much junk in here. Uh, converting your file, and this is to uh, create an icon image. It's this site right here, which is uh, online hyphen convert.com go ahead and get rid of that and what we're going to do is uh, we want to uh, this is something new. okay convert another file to an icon so let's see here leave image converter convert to ICO and it'll take you to uh, that section. Convert to ICO. All right. Let's get rid of this mess. All right. And we we already know that we saved it to desktop, so we're going to go to our desktop and just upload the image. Let's see if I can find it here. I got a big crack on my screen. I need to get that fixed, but I can't see anything. Here it is right here, Bioshock. That's the one we just saved, so we're going to bring that up. And we're going to go ahead and upload that. And basically all you need to do is convert file. And it'll go ahead and convert it to an icon, and we'll save that to desktop that we'll use in Cheat Engine. It only takes it a couple of seconds. It don't take very long at all. And you'll have this pop up, and just click on Save As and just save that to desktop. It'll save it in icon 
format which is .ICO and now we're ready to go ahead and start up our uh, trainer maker and cheat engine itself alright so what we want to do is you're going to go here to file we already know that all these work it's uh, attached to the game and go down here in file generic uh, excuse me generate generic trainer Lewis script from table just go ahead and click on that and you'll get a, a pre-built type system and here's our the model of our trainer over here and this is what we're going to uh, be working with you can go ahead and set it to a relative size that you might want you want to make it neat as possible make sure all your cheats are showing up okay but we're going to customize this in just a second uh, forgive me guys I had to interrupt myself actually I did not stress it uh, when I originally made the tutorial so I kind of want to stick this and splice this in the middle of it just so I can stress this uh, the reason that you want to have your game up and running and your cheats present is when you go to make your game trainer you want the game running because of this right here uh, the process name you see here Bioshock Infinite dot exe uh, that way uh, when you have your cheat engine brought up and you attach the game to cheat engine it brings up your cheats that way when you go in there and activate your cheats uh, the same thing is occurring when you make your trainer that way you set all your hotkeys and everything that I'm about to get into in the tutorial but uh, if you don't have the process already up and running then you it won't uh, set itself to attach to anything so you want to make sure that you have the exe file running when uh, you make your trainer so uh, it will the trainer itself once it's finished will attach itself to the game so I, w I didn't stress that when I originally made the tutorial but I wanted to stress it now so I'll go ahead and uh, send you back to the tutorial sorry about that uh, what we want to do is go ahead and name the trainer uh, Bioshock Infinite and also good for uh, Barrel at C. So I'll just put and burial at C. And you can change this to your name. This, this was made by Chris Fate. And I always put at uh, cheat the game. And this is uh, every time they click the about button over here, this is what will pop up. This is what it will say. And you can add music to, you know, when the game's not operating yet. You can have your own little music in there. Uh, you can play around with stuff like that. I always like to put in there, uh, click this option, play sound when the cheats are activated. So it'll it'll make a little cheat sound when these uh, are activated. I don't know why I put that in there. Let me uh, edit this right quick. That, that accidentally put in there when I was trying to show you. Uh, delete that one that way all right so now that don't have a deactivate we know to press number one to deactivate it and we come down here we want to go ahead and set an icon for the image this is what will be like on their desktop or wherever they store uh, the trainer itself and it'll just look like whatever you set the icon to be and we just made the icon and that's what we want to go ahead and set it at so uh, let's go ahead and find it here on desktop. There it is right here. Bioshock Infinite. I'm going to open that up. And uh, the set side image. This is for this image over here. I always put the same thing. But the JPEG format of it. And that's it right here. And we can kind of just clean that up a little bit. We want to make everything look nice and neat. We don't want it too big. We don't want taking up the whole screen. So you just go ahead and uh, set it however looks good to you. So it doesn't inconvenience people when they uh, open your trainer. And when you can go ahead and set all these, you can change the color and all that stuff. I'm not going to really go into that. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory because when you click on this design user interface, you can kind of play around with the options and everything. Don't worry about uh, any kind of those things that pop up. That's no big deal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that instead of numeric one. I'm just going to change all that to uh, number pad one. 
So uh, you, you can see all the options. It shows you what everything is. You can look over here and see what it's highlighting. You can change the colors. You can change the text. Uh, just pretty much do anything you want. Now, like I said, I'm just ba going over the basic version of a generic trainer. Uh, there are a lot of good uh, trainers out there. Uh, are good tutorials out there if you want to get more in depth in it uh, writing the Lewis script yourself to really enjoy the full power of creating your own trainer it, it really helps to have a base understanding of Lewis script uh, but this uh, functionality that uh, they put into cheat engine here works really good to you and it you know, it's just all depends on what you want to do with it but right now we're just making a base one that people can use and just uh, make it simple, simple as possible. And I'm just going to change that to uh, number pad, so people know that it's the uh, number keys on the side here. We're going to copy that. We're just going to change each one of them. Oh, crap! I accidentally mesh copy. But you get the idea. Let me go ahead and. Uh, Fast forward that, and I'm going to change all these to number pad, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, thanks for holding, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, I went through each one of these. Now, these, each one of these up here, they, these are our cheats, and you can see it highlights. No matter what you click on, it'll highlight over here in the trainer, so you can see what's being affected. And all the options under that highlight are, are, are specifically for this window here. All that has to do with just that little window. So uh, that's how you can customize your trainer. You can change the colors of it, uh, anything you want to do. You can just experiment with that. That's pretty much our, everything is really self-explanatory. They made it really easy, so there's really nothing that uh, should really be throwing you. Uh, you can set your activation color. This is what it turns to when the code is activated. When they mesh like uh, the number seven pad, shops do not decrease money. It'll, it'll highlight red to show them that it's on and activated. And you can change that to whatever you want to. If you want, if you did want to change the background uh, and the text colors, you can do that as well. Uh, for example, if I wanted to change all that to uh, black, here it is, the color right here. You can change. If I wanted to change that to black, I could by clicking on that. And you see how it turned all that to black. And then you can go set all your numbers or your letters. Uh, to whatever color you like that would show up on black but I'm just going to keep it white for the time being there we go and once you click off of it it'll it'll save your progress all right even that looks good I like that kind of like off blue you know that looks that looks okay you can do whatever you want to you can just go around and play with it and just set it however you like Okay, so once you get everything fixed the way that you're happy with it, um, you can go through, uh, just recheck everything. Now we know all the codes work, uh, so we don't really have to do any more to it, and that's the way we want to do it. So we can go ahead and uh, just get out of that. And what we want to do is move Cheat Engine out of the way first, and here we go. We'll go down here to, you see this little button here, it says Generate Trainer. Keep it on EXE, and we'll go ahead and click that, and just name name it whatever you want. Uh, name it in the context of what it is, you know. So this is Bioshock uh, Infinite Trainer, or you know, just however you want to. Go ahead and click Save. Say that to desktop or wherever you want to. Make sure it'll. Make sure that you check everything. Make sure that you do save this correctly. If it is a 32-bit game, which most games are, uh, you'll you'll want to save. Uh, most games will be in 32-bit uh, format. The newer games, such as uh, Watch Dogs. Uh, uh, things of that nature, uh, those are 64-bit. However, most other games are 32-bit. But you can look at the game itself; it'll tell you. And you can just check your icon. This is what your icon is going to look like uh, when it's made. And when you got all that done, you can go ahead and just click on Generate. And it'll go ahead and uh, save that to your desktop or wherever it is you chose to save it. And you'll get this. Now, before you click out of any of this, make sure that it uh, made the trainer. So 
let's just go to desktop and uh, that's it right here make sure that it shows your icon and you and everything and then you just want to double click on it make sure that it loads up and there's our trainer and we know our game's up so our, our trainer is working so when we uh, uh, click on the buttons it should uh, you hear that and you see everything lighting up red that I'm turning on I go back and turn them back off now and so we do know our trainer is working now uh, this will work every single time we load up we don't have to load up cheat engine anymore it'll auto attach itself to the game uh, when you load it up and let me just show you let me uh, go out of the game and I'm gonna go out of the trainer as well I'm gonna save that to my uh, game file so let me just uh, go out of the game right quick and I'll show you right quick Task. There we go. I got rid of the Bioshock and our trainer's gone so we can go ahead and uh, move our trainer to our game files so what we want to do is go ahead and load up the game and it get fully loaded Alright, now we can just load up our game trainer. There we go. Looks like everything looks pretty good. You know, when I click on the about, it shows exactly what I typed in there. This trainer was made by Chris Bay at Cheat the Game. Uh, this will close the uh, trainer. They click on that. So we can go back to our game and test it out, make sure everything's working like it should. put it over to the side so I can look at it. It kind of made it a little too wide, but that's okay. So let's just go give her a try and make sure she works. Alright. And I got infinite health, infinite ammunition. Of course, I can't use ammunition yet because this is like the beginning of the game. I have my infinite salt, which is the magic, and infinite shield. Uh, increased lock picks to max on one pickup. Uh, 999 silver eagles each pickup. So for right now, I'm just going to turn on infinite health, uh, infinite salt, and infinite coin pickup. Now let's go give her a try. Also, shops do not decrease value. Let's put that one on too. You see them turn on over here on the left. All right, so so if the code's working, uh, the number seven code that I do have activated, because we see it in red, shops do not decrease money. I should be able to buy this uh, without it taking anything away. So I'm going to do that. And it still stay the same, so we know that's working. I have on infinite salt, so let's just go ahead and use it. And you see my salt ain't going down. And if I click off of it, I turned it off. Now it is going down. See that? Now it's not. So we know the trainer is working. And I just wanted to uh, show that to you, how you can easily and quickly make a good solid trainer. Uh, Cheat Engine did a really good job. Uh, the guys there that created this did a really good job of putting that in there just so you can get something easy and quick. It's just follow the steps. And you can go ahead and share this with your friends uh, online at your website or however you want to do it. And uh, they can enjoy these cheats as well if they want to. And I just wanted to uh, uh, just give you a little knowledge in that. There are plenty of good uh, tutorials out there if you want to get more in depth and uh, it, they can show you more into it. Like if you wanted to add uh, buttons on here or they can put in their own value, well you need to write a little script for that. But uh, Sethios, I'll, I'll put his link in the description. He, he goes into that a little bit more in depth on how to make a trainer and uh, to use buttons or to input values and things like that and uh, he does a really good job so I'll put his info in the description as well so you can take a look at that but that's all I wanted to show
if you have any questions don't hesitate to let me know like subscribe i'd love to have you aboard with me i got a lot more coming your way soon uh batman arkham knights just uh been released back out again and uh, hopefully i can get that up and running and see if i can find some exploits in that that we can take advantage of and I just, like I say, I got a lot of stuff that I'm, I'm brewing in the background here that I, I'll be uh, uploading uh, within the next few weeks. So just keep your eye out. And uh, like I say, if there's a game out there, I'll pretty much hack into it. So, <laughs> all right, you guys take it easy. You take care. Just enjoy yourselves. It's all about having fun. And like always, cheat the game. Bye-bye now.